My name is Ian Tan. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Mattermost. I'm so happy to have you all here. We're going to be talking today about building real-time DevOps with open source, how Mattermost and GetLab sort of come together. And if anyone is run, if for all of you that are running Omnibus, you've got Mattermost ready to go. You can, and we'll talk about how you can set that up, run GetLab reconfigure, and you're off and running with your own sort of Mattermost instance for chat ops, for real-time DevOps, for many things you can do with, with, the, with the Mattermost and GetLab put together. So Mattermost right now, we're about 100 people, about 40 people last year. We have over 1,000 committers, 1,000 people contributing to the open source project. Um, I'm the CEO. You can see us here. This is last year when we were sort of a 40-ish person company. Uh, and this year, it's going to be an even bigger photo. I'll be even harder to find. Uh, but uh, really excited to be here. Um, so I'm going to talk about, before we go into real-time DevOps, let's kind of talk about the start of GetLab Mattermost, which is really in 2015. And you'll remember in, so for those of you who've been around since GetLab 7.14, uh, GetLab announced open source, on-premise Slack alternative. And it was really about, hey, here's something that's got the core features of Slack, same keyboard shortcuts, you've got channels, you've got the organization, you can work with Slack using the same sort of web hooks, you can import from Slack teams, you can even import Slack theme colors. And with every omnibus, it's just, you know, it's a little bit of configuration and just pops up and it can work with all your systems. Um, but the key is that for companies that are regulated, that have you know, on-premise requirements that need a lot of configuration, GetLab Mattermost has been a really uh, unique solution, a really powerful solution that addresses those needs. And that's what started in 2015. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit about a customer story, the story of Worldline, who actually was installing GetLab and Mattermost back in 2015. Um, and you know, this is a company that's, that's enterprise, 11,000 employees, 2 billion in revenue, 30 countries, doing financial transactions from lots of data centers. And they were one of the early adopters of sort of Mattermost and GetLab and, and putting those pieces together. They started out with a private network deployment because they have to do, you know, their financial transactions, lots of companies, lots of parts around the world have to work together. They had a five-person team in, in the enterprise uh, back in 2015. And that's where our sort of story begins. And where we are today is sort of 2019, 2020 even. Um, and what we've become from an open source Slack alternative is really this concept of real-time DevOps. We have concurrent DevOps within, within GetLab. We have all the things and all the different pieces of the DevOps platform working together in one application. And how do we accelerate that to be real-time? And the adoption and the partnership between GetLab and Mattermost has been incredibly strong. This year, or actually 2019, uh, Y Combinator led a $50 million investment in Mattermost Inc. So now we've got a component of GetLab, and, and we've got $50 million pouring into that because the space is, is so huge and, and so exciting. So that's a lot of capital to put to work in, in creating better and better real-time DevOps scenarios for, for everyone. Um, so Worldline today, after you know, starting their journey in 2015, that five-person team is now 3,000 users. They've got 500 teams on Mattermost. They have 2,100 people in a single channel. Um, and you know, it works together with their, their GetLabs framework. So you can go in, your users are knowing where everything is. Um, and we're gonna, talk, we're gonna talk a little bit in a sort of screenshots about, screenshots and specifics about how, they, how the integration works. But for Worldline, the value is really being able to have all their engineering best practices shared in a single place and leveraged across the company. So here's a way that we can, you know, in asynchronously in, in parts around the world, really being able to collaborate as DevOps professionals, as practitioners, and to say, hey, here's something I discovered that worked really well over here in this little area, and be able to rapidly take that learning and bring it out over the entire organization. So these are just some of the scenarios we'll be talking about um, in this world of concurrent DevOps. So, you know, with GetLab, you've seen a lot about how do we turn weeks into minutes? How do we ch accelerate, massively accelerate these cycle times with this, with this DevOps platform? And what Mattermost adds on top is real-time DevOps. People call this chat ops. This is really, people call this chat ops. People call this, you know, many different things. But it's really about how do we turn those hours into seconds? And we think about this, this motion of turning hours into seconds, it's what is the critical path? What are the most important things we have to do and we've got to get a decision? 
How do we think about incident response? When we have an outage, when we have downtime, how do we communicate very rapidly? And how do we take those in a large enterprise, in, in areas that are very highly regulated, or under a lot of um, or a lot of external pressure, how do you think about these security incidents where you've got vulnerabilities that um, really need to be kept confidential, really can't leave you know, the people having that conversation? When you're in those situations where you've got that critical security information and you really can't put it on the end of systems and you want to leave it in your private network and yet you've got to reach uh, those people who might be outside, outside the, the walls of the company right now, how do you do that? And with real-time DevOps, with the security and customization around mobile and around the DevOps life cycle, you put those together and that's how we think about real-time DevOps. And in that context, Mattermost completes the, De the GitLab experience. Mattermost can take GitLab to mobile, it can take GitLab to real-time. And what we have is a system of engagement across your mobile devices, across even your Apple Watch, um, your mo different, uh, different smart watches, uh, to really engage with the critical pieces of information that are time sensitive. And that works on top of a concurrent system of record. So let's talk specifically about different use cases. We're gonna talk about ITK. ITK is, an, is, a, re, is a software company uh, based in, uh, working in agriculture. So how do we take um, information and data from agricultural businesses and increase their efficiency? And with GetLab and Mattermost working together, they now have six times faster deployments. They're working on three times as many projects. And it's really with some of the key features that we're gonna be talking through um, in, this, in this presentation. Um, we've got the concept of daily briefings. So when you have uh, GetLab Mattermost installed and, and the right thing is configured, um, every day when you, when you open up your laptop and you start your day, you've got an update from the GetLab bot about what are the things that you really need to pay attention to. What are your unread messages from across your GetLab systems? Um, what review requests are waiting for you? What open merge requests do you have waiting on other people? What are the items assigned to you? So from one place in, in one message, whether it's on your mobile system um, or it's in your desktop or web, you've got an update for all the things that are, make, are being asked of you in terms of your time. Well, where does that come from? It comes from a GetLab bot. And this is you know, all open source, it's all configurable. This actually came from our communities of people saying, hey, I want GetLab and Mattermost to work better together. And the GetLab bot will give you that daily briefing. It'll also put notifications and with uh, custom notifications depending on what you're, ne what you're interested in and what you need to know. Um, into your Mattermost channel. It supports markdown all the way through. You can take your, your merge requests and your issues straight from GetLab and they'll just translate over to Mattermost. Um, you can have a really great visualization. And on top of that, you can work interactively with that GetLab bot. You have, sla you have a slash command interface. And just to give a little color on, on how important this is to some of our customers, um, what, we, what we often see is that people are working in these private networks in companies with a lot of legacy tools, right? You got a telnet in, it's written in COBOL, you know, but you have to use it because it's, it's running $4 billion of revenue, right? And you know, yes, we're all gonna go to cloud, but that $4 billion system, we're gonna go on eBay and find like used parts to keep that system running. And, um, and when we talk to our customers, they're sort of like, oh, we have a cloud strategy. Yes, we wanna be like, and of your workloads, you know, the vast majority still have to, have to stay in these, in, these, in these legacy systems. But how do, you, how do you really innovate and how do you have speed when you're, when, you're, when you're in that situation? And the common pattern people are using is they're building RESTful APIs against their, against their legacy pieces, and they're hooking those up to these command lines inside of Mattermost. Um, so you have the ability to ask questions, to pull reports, to do incident response. And you can, and you, if you do it right, you really can't tell the difference between your legacy apps and your new and your new infrastructure because it's in just one command line. We have cust a lot of customers will come in and they'll say, um, 
you know, the old way of doing it is, hey, we've got like, I need to find out what are the, uh, what's the access to our VPN in the last 30 days? And you know, what are the systems that this human being has access to, right? I just need to do a little, a little check. And the old way was, okay, great, you know, that's, that's, the, that's the old stuff, right? That's not the modern pieces. We've got to send an email, it's gonna take a couple days, the person's gonna backlog, the person's at lunch, they have to run the thing, it takes 30 minutes. When they start using GetLab Mattermost, what they can do is they can write that slash command, and they can, uh, and they, it still takes 30 minutes, but they, they run that slash command, it still takes 30 minutes, but while they're waiting, you've taught the other person how to get it for themselves. They've, you've created a self-service mechanism using something that's very easy, it's, it's documented, it's custom to your system, and it runs within your private network. So you can run things in the most sort of difficult, challenging, high security environments, but it feels uh, it feels like you're doing something very modern. Um, so, you know, when you had this GetLab bot, it's, it's open source and, you know, it's really not what's, um, this is really just the start of the story. Once you've got those pieces hooked up, once you've taught your developers, hey, here's how you connect your, your DevSecOps infrastructure to a collaboration platform and it's all open source, there's, you know, tons and tons of use cases and, and imagination that they'll put into it and a lot, an amazing amount of efficiency they'll take out of, an environment in private networks that really isn't, you know, it's not the first place you think that you're gonna find a lot of innovation. But you can because of open source and because of the right platforms and because of the right patterns. So part of this was actually, and part of this is actually, you know, the story of how GetLab and Mattermost really accelerated their integrations. What you got is just like you've got the bot and it's open source and people are contributing, Mattermost itself is open source. And you know, what's actually come out of the community is, hey, I really, really want to use GetLab every single day. I want it you know, front page. I don't care what page I navigate to. So now we're embedding GetLab in the Mattermost experience itself in the sidebar, which is always on. So we can say, hey, just like, just like I can interface with my, my GetLab bot, I actually want the sidebar to start doing more creative things. And um, we get, we got actually, if, if you if ever use Slack or one of these closed source products, what you find is like every developer is like, gosh, I wish it could do this one extra thing. Gosh, I wish the sidebar would do, you know, this little, you know, different configuration. And with an open source platform, there's more and more of that being able to soak in um, and through plugins and configurations really get to that workflow and that experience that developers want and that make people work faster. So that's a GetLab sidebar. And you know, what I want to talk about today is just how easy it is to get started. Um, it, Mattermost is ready to deploy with Omnibus. You can see this is a screenshot of the instructions. Um, you got to basically define, hey, here's the endpoint that I want Mattermost to reside on. And you want, you want to run GetLab reconfigure, and you're up and going. So. Uh, <laughs> we'll talk about this. Um, all you have to do is web search GetLab Mattermost and you'll find that page. What I want to leave you with is the idea that Mattermost really completes the GetLab experience. We talked about real-time DevOps and turning that concurrent DevOps framework into real-time. We talked about the concept of private network collaboration, the idea that in the places where you have the least amount of flexibility, you can't touch a lot of the modern tools, you can actually have a platform that really can allow for a ton of innovation, a ton of user experience customization, and that meets all your security and compliance requirements. And all this today is, is bundled with GetLab. What we're also gonna talk about, because you know, Mattermost is just like GetLab, an open core company, there's an enterprise offering as well. So you know, we're gonna be really transparent, here's the open source. When it comes to the enterprise edition, there's gonna be advanced user management, um, so for those folks that are running to hundreds or thousands of users, they've got SAML SSO and LDAP, role-based role -based access controls, e-discovery. If you really want to take, matter, for our customers, uh, take, things, take Mattermost to that next level and, and have it really integrated with central IT systems. Um, and the last thing I'll talk about in terms of Mattermost completing the, the GetLab experience is really high trust mobility. It's really, hey, a lot of developers using GetLab, you know, what we hear often is, hey, I want to go mobile. I want to be able to take some of these critical workflows. I want to take incident response. Um, I want to take you know, these security discussions into a mobile experience. And we're going to talk about you know, different ways to do that with Mattermost. Um, 
the simple way, just to start off, is like, hey, there's hosted mobile applications in the iOS and, and uh, Android store. You can set up some different types of connection security to get, you can set up different types of connection security uh, to, uh, to get a really great sort of mobile experience and, and check a lot of boxes. And in that sort of basic scenario, Mattermost is, is pretty much completely private. It's, it's very, very private in how it, how it sends uh, information to mobile apps. So Google and um, Apple, uh, they, have to re they have to relay text messages you know, as, as your push notifications go. Mattermost has the ability to just make those anonymous, just pure IDs, and, uh, and have everything sort of contained within your uh, private system. That's, the, you know, that's sort of out of the box and available. Then there's, at the extreme end, for people that really need that next level of privacy, we give you full source code access to the mobile apps, uh, to the mobile applications and our push notification server in Mattermost itself. So for people that want to compile the mobile applications and the push notification server with its own certs um, and uh, really have no one else ever be able to touch the messages, like Mattermost does not even have a hosted service in that scenario, um, that gives you that comfort. That gives you those enterprises the ability to say, actually, this is our system. We control everything up to, up to the mobile apps, up to all the authentication, um, and you know, Mattermost and no other company can see what we're doing. So that high trust mobility, that ability to meet the highest security requirements is something that for the top end of customers um, has been really powerful and really enabling in terms of what they can do. So the, uh, the opportunity is to start now. The opportunity is when you kind of go back to your companies or it, when you go back to your companies, you want to think about, hey, how do I get real time? How do I, take, how do I take GetLab and put it on my phone? And how do I take GetLab and put it on my watch? And uh, when you get that notification and something is really important, be able to tap on your wrist, use your voice to text, and answer something that's, that's happening right now. Like those scenarios are now day to day for a lot of our customers. And you know, this, is this is an opportunity for you guys to turn on what you already have. So with that, I'd love to open up uh, for questions. Uh, this is going to be a little different, because we're going to have, so I'd love to open up for questions. This is going to be a little different, um, because we're going to have a mic going around. There are no speakers, so either speak loudly, or um, I'm going to try and use these, these headphones. So, um, and what I'd love to do is just have an open conversation. People who've got um, things they want to hear about, yeah, please, go ahead. I'm, curi I'm curious. Um, you have a lot of, a lot of integration w uh, between Mattermost and uh, GitLab already in UX. But do you also plan or have uh, code integration, r real code-based integration? Uh, sorry, great question. So, how, what are, how do you think about code-based integration? So, they're different. They are different companies. And they're different open-source projects. And Mattermost actually works. You know, works well with GitLab. It's it's a good partnership that we have. We are also working with you know other other DevOps platforms. Um, so it's uh, we're written in Go and uh, React and React Native. Um, so it's it's a dis it's a slightly different code base. And there's not plans right now to to integrate those those code bases. But yeah, thanks. Really appreciate the question. All right, other folks, questions you might have about Mattermost? Real-time DevOps, yep. I, I guess you speak loudly, I can't quite hear it, yeah, sorry. Hello. Oh, great, okay, great, okay. okay. So uh, we are using, um, Cloud native Helm chart for the GitLab deployment, and since you mentioned about omnibus installation, so do you have uh, any documentation on you know working with the GitLab uh, cloud native uh, deployments as well? Like uh, since we are using Slack and we're trying to you know integrate uh, Mattermost with the GitLab uh, on Kubernetes, so is there any documentation or any uh, things being done on that side? Yeah, great question. So how do you have um, Mattermost run on Kubernetes? Um, especially since GitLab has got their cloud native. Just Google or web search Mattermost Kubernetes and you'll find like Helm charts, you'll find like, you'll find, you'll find like Mattermost is, you'll find Mattermost's deployment there. Um, and what you actually find is when we go to KubeCon and things like that, it's, it's really interesting because like, 
you'll kind of see this in GitLab in that it's, it's application layer, but you'll see Mattermost actually as, as sort of a reference architecture for how Kubernetes like puts things together. It's, it's pretty sophisticated as well, right? Because you have like databases and you have like the application and you want to put it all together. Um, but sorry, the, the way, easy way to think about it is just find Mattermost Kubernetes um, and then you'll see like all of our documentation there.